Improving personal productivity is work-life balance. Welcome to the video tutorial on work-life balance. Let's see what uh, topics we have in store. Uh, we will definitely be introducing the topic uh, on a very formal lines and then we will move on to understand a very small quiz and how this quiz can relate to understanding the topic and analyzing whether you are in a quite balanced approach of, you know, relating work and life in a in a lines where you know it is accepted and acknowledged by yourself and at your way, workplace moving on work life balance benefits and why it is important and why are we even discussing this today so we'll certainly talk on this slide uh, moving on the ill effects of unhealthy lifestyle or work life balance because that truly translates to your work life i i, I wake up like a four o'clock in the morning and i have a work timing which starts like a 9 a.m. in the morning, I certainly will not have a balance out there. I'll not only impact my lifestyle, that is my health, uh, which will translate eventually to the wealth aspect too. Moving on, how workplace influences balance, that is how many employers have actually started with this fact of uh, helping employees uh, uh, you know, towards approaching a task called work-life balance and what to keep in mind out there. Next, employee satisfaction survey. This is one small quick survey that uh, uh, you can take it up if you are at an organization level or maybe at an individual level at your own pace. Moving on, the next time management techniques because work life is purely a matter of time management. Next slide, a work life balance setting goals. It is very important and imperative that I set the right goals because if uh, right goals are not set we all would have an aimless experience of life next we would conclude and move on with work life at work that is at the working place next slide is on introduction front so if i have to really define work life balance it is nothing but how i balance my work with an approach towards my uh, personal life my domestic life my you know my pleasure at home maybe the experiences of having fun with your family or with your uh, relatives as such so the way i take a balance approach plays a very important role and it, this is very very tricky because a lot of us we all go through an experience where work dominates our life so we all have been in the situation where for a lot of us the work success is your personal success but we haven't taken personal success towards work success but instead we have taken personal stress and personal concerns towards work and uh, it's very difficult to switch off and switch on that is each time I, I come back home I cannot switch off myself from the work mode or from the you know work schedule that I carry mentally with me likewise you know when I uh, go back to home, uh, work I do not switch off from my enthusiasm or from my emotions of my home to work so it's very very uh, messy and a tricky situation that we all go through so there's certain techniques and methods that we're going to talk in this video tutorial um, and i'm hopeful that you know this should actually help us be there to whatever desired uh, you know work-life balance that we are looking out for moving on the next slide is there's a small quiz that i really want you to reflect on that is as basic questions as i work during my lunch break is it like very often you do it or one odd time it happens naturally so do you agree or disagree with this statement just a tick mark would help you there i don't have enough control over my life now this is purely basis on the fact that each time you're at work or each time a task is completed or each time you initiate a task you've been either objected or you either you've been stopped or either you've been reprimanded for your approach towards the task the next question is slightly in lines with you know how do you control your temper that is are you high on emotions or low on emotions are you submissive as a person or do you balance your emotions well so do you agree or disagree would be the you know option that we want you to really tick on uh, i spend sufficient time with my near and dear ones i don't know i would love to meet a person who would say this as uh, you know in agreement with the statement because this has been a quite a uh, a daunting task for all of us I mean when I take my personal experience and example it's it's always been a very calculative chances that I take and still you end up missing out you know spending that right amount of time with the people so I would suggest do visit a content uh, uh, library that is on the soft, soft skills section and you have list of questionnaire I just selected six today 
So go through, analyze. If you get maximum that's something you disagree at, then it's time that you know you pull up your socks and move on to take the approach and work towards work-life balance. Next slide, uh, ill effects of a healthy lifestyle or uh, something where I'm not able to balance my you know work life. Healthy lifestyle as simple as that, you know, work dominates you and you're not able to give your own personal time, your personal space to yourself, to your family. Imagine a time where, you know, if you were a kid or maybe if your kid has experienced it or maybe when you, uh, you can relate this to an example to anybody that you know of in your friend circle, in your, you know, neighbors or in your family, uh, you know, connections where the child have been waiting for a long time for a birthday cake to be, uh, you know, uh, to, to be taken into action but for some reason it was called off or probably the program was called off because of so-called urgent task or important meeting so it's very disappointing experiences because this and this is purely in in a manner where 99% uh, it's only because of our time management you know uh, skills that we lack on or maybe a possibility of 1% that could be purely on basis of something really uh, ad hoc as an experience as such. So recall that experience and what is the emotion that you have uh, uh, experienced or what is the emotion that you have given to somebody else and relate to the fact why we are all emphasizing the, uh, you know, the statement work-life balance is important. Moving on, uh, how work uh, plays influences balance. Uh, many organizations have come up with something called maybe a small meditation uh, center or a yoga center at workplace or maybe you know cycling at workplace they could be as basic as you know social uh, events at workplace so that you guys can have fun have the proper enjoyment and take back that happy emotions to uh, back home with your family again so this is something we all have to strive to be there or either you yourself in the group can come up with something you know where you can, you acknowledge and your uh, uh, people in the group your peers do acknowledge certain uh, favorite you know pastime activities where you can spend some time enjoy and also connect with human so each time there's a social activity that you guys are involved in be it as basic as a sports event or a game that you're organizing and playing you get connected to the person very closely so uh, not uh, looking out for organization to help us as such maybe at an individual level we all can begin doing it so having a proper brainstorming session as to what is uh, somebody's favorite pastime and taking that and picking it up and taking ahead to make it on a very larger scale can really help us to balance and take a life ahead at workplace or maybe at a university level too. Moving on, next slide, employee satisfaction survey. Now this is a typical survey that we have designed and if you are at an organization level or at an individual level, I would recommend do uh, visit our website under content library of this particular topic. We have a list of questionnaires. Questionnaires as basic as you know the management uh, allows you to take your own uh, initiatives. So do you, uh, you have to really give them a uh, scoring of any way between 0 to 5, 0 being the least and 4 uh, being good and 5 being the highest. So see how much do you score there and if you are at a less average score then certainly you have to you know, work on your work life balance. So moving on, uh, next slide, time management technique. Now it's always been said, have you ever encountered the statement commonly said by your friends or your peers or your cousins that they have very little time? If they have said so, get ready to give them this feedback that they lack time management skills. So nobody actually can feel that they have less time, but it's purely because of how you manage your time well. Uh, if I have to really quote you an example, there are people who have always been ranked as you know the richest person in the globe or richest person on this universe. I mean, I'm sure when we each year the ranking comes up, there are a couple of them who stands out. Carlos Slim is one among them, and Bill Gates too. They have 24 hours, and likewise, we have the same routine of 24 hours as to whatever part of globe that I come in from or I live at. So how do they manage and they still rank high and we're still there in terms of managing our own time technique. The most important thing to remember in the time management technique is, you know, we all go through this challenge of analyzing and not being able to bucket certain tasks under 
urgent bucket and important bucket so if i have to really talk about what urgent means as per time management technique and what important means as uh, time as per time management technique as hessen hover the one of the person who has done extensive research on time management and he came up with this time management cycle where he uh, did quote something on quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 2 so as per him the urgent task is anything that can sets the motion off can sets the action to take place further and that's highly uh, it's more than important hence it is bucketed under urgent likewise if i have to really define important task i have to keep in mind that you know this will not set a uh, uh, set a, a task into motion or into action but it certainly is important on a longer run so it is hygienically important that i complete it on an important lines but not on an urgent level so keep in mind prioritize certain things before you start your day or maybe at workplace the first thing to do while you begin your work is bucket your task under urgent and bucket your task under important now the most messy thing that we all understand and we all go through is how do i differentiate what urgent task is and what important task is so to understand this we all go through the stage where you know your urgent task and an important task has always been a uphill uh, experience to understand as to how do we bucket certain task under this a uh, column of urgent and a column of important all you have to do is just remember on a longer run anything that helps me that can get my work completed or can take care of my work is your important task a reason that you have to complete an urgent task is purely on lines with the consequences and repercussions that a task can carry so understand go through and uh, sort of try and analyze where do you want to bucket uh, a task forwarding emails and forwarding uh, a policy email is not urgent but it's certainly important to do so so that's something you have to you know go back and analyze as to what the task uh, holds uh, its importance as per your work schedule or as per your work uh, understanding moving on a uh, work life balance setting goals it is very important that i set right goals to have that clarity to maintain clarity otherwise life is aimless life is without goals and you do not know where to proceed in order to go ahead and you know achieve the goals uh, i i remember this thought that i happened to read effort is important in life but where to put that right effort at the right time plays the key uh, element for the success so understand and realize that goals very important but what goals are we actually coming up with is it short term goal or a long term goal that we are analyzing it if yes is it really realistic to achieve it or it is it practical to really think on is it timely to go by so your smart technique can certainly help you to be there that is specific measurable achievable realistic and timely your goal should fall in this acronym and understand if it is not falling in then you have to change your goal as simple as that moving on next slide work life balance at work now this is little critical because at work work totally dominates us for a lot of us work dominates at our personal life too but at work there are a lot of us that you know we go through stage and phases of life where we do not connect with any person at a personal level but we are totally at our desk and totally concentrating on the task in a manner which is acknowledged in a manner which is appreciated but however if something needs on a if something uh, is on a urgent basis to get connected it is very imperative that i go by the fact the way i would balance the certain task at work and then i balance uh, my you know personal life too a uh, lot of theories lot of research work that has been conducted where it has been told and said that you know 46% of our stress is purely because we do not balance work and life and that's what the harvard research that was conducted and it's a very uh, disturbing number because uh, 46 is max you know it's half of you know the uh, 100% uh, pie because uh, it's taking over work and life which we are not able to balance on moving on conclusion uh, i like to conclude by just saying a few things out here that you know plan and prioritize well your goals because ultimately your work and life all have certain goals stepping into a branch of a bank 
maybe visiting a branch of a bank is also a goal for the day but how i prioritize it how i put a timeline towards it likewise a task that has to be taken into account in the first hours of my work that needs priority too uh, similar lines university as a student or at a college level completing certain uh, you know chapters of reading or maybe getting the notes collected is also a goal for the day prioritize plan and move ahead thank you for watching and do share your comments and suggestion for this particular video in the comment box and we would like to initiate the discussion with you thank you